Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on gallbladder empyema. Gallbladder empyema, also called suppurative cholecystitis, is an uncommon complication of cholecystitis, and refers to a situation where the gallbladder lumen is filled and distended by purulent material which is pus. If the obstructed gallbladder becomes infected, can be filled with pus due to bacterial infection of the stagnant bile, due to cystic duct being obstructed by a stone. The most frequently isolated organisms include Escherichia coli, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Streptococcus faecalis, and anaerobes, including Bacteroides and Clostridia species. Suppurative inflammation ensues, tightly filling the gallbladder with purulent debris. Localized or free perforation occurs if drainage or resection is not performed at this juncture. Generalized sepsis frequently accompanies this progression. Patients may present with fever with chills and rigors right hypochondrium pain, and signs of sepsis. For radiographic features, ultrasound may show the usual sonographic features of cholecystitis with added echogenic content within the gallbladder lumen. This feature is however not specific for an empyema. Features seen on ultrasound include thick-walled distended gallbladder, lumen filled with hypoechoic fluid with echogenic granular moving particles, and a positive sonological Murphy's sign. In cases of extensive calculus cholecystitis where gallstones fill the gallbladder lumen, it may be difficult to assess the echogenicity of bile and further cross-sectional imaging may be required. This picture shows gallbladder empyema seen on ultrasound, showing thick irregular wall of gallbladder, and mixed echogenic pus. We can also do CT scan, where it may show general imaging features of cholecystitis, with added high attenuating material representing pus within the distended gallbladder lumen. Again this feature is nonspecific and is often difficult to differentiate from sludge within the gallbladder. This is a CT scan showing gallbladder empyema. MRI sometimes may be helpful in distinguishing pus from sludge by using heavily T2-weighted sequences, which may show fluid-fluid levels with dependent layering of purulent bile. On other MR sequences images, pus or purulent bile may be difficult to demonstrate. The purulent component is usually of lower signal on T2-weighted images. Patients with gallbladder empyema can be treated with emergent cholecystectomy and percutaneous cholecystostomy. Differential diagnosis include gangrenous cholecystitis, with asymmetric GB wall thickening with ulceration and irregularity of wall, plus minus no Doppler flow, diminished C plus enhancement of portions of GB wall, with or without pericholecystic collection or abscess, emphysematous cholecystitis, where we can see luminal gas with dirty, posterior acoustic shadowing, ring down artifact from gas bubbles, and champagne sign. Gallbladder distension from cholecystitis without pus. Gallbladder distension with sludge within. And hepatic abscess adjacent to or intimately close to the gallbladder. That's all for this video. Thank you.